then some bridge into it. Then times uh, height, height of sediment, the uh, square. So this is horizontal to the downstream portion, the downstream direction. So it is negative h over 3 sediment height over 3 since it is triangular portion then uh, you can just uh, follow the same approach so we have to follow we can follow the same approach So we have to follow uh, the same approach. Uh, then finally, you go to PVS. PVS again for downstream portion. You go PVS. This is vertical portion. You have triangular portion for this one. Then PVS to the slope. You have PVS. So half of this dimension times sediment uh, depth. So sediment depth. If you multiply sediment depth, sediment depth will be half of Sambridge d two times uh, half of which is uh, 10 square. So just uh, since you have a dimension, so PVS would be uh, this one, 2 meter, 2 meter by slope, 0 0.21. Since you go 10, then 0 0.2 times 10 will be this one. So 10 meter is the height. Then finally, you have this dimension. So since it is uh, downward, downward, positive downward positive downward positive then uh, moment arm will be this one moment arm is just from uh, the top of the dam you calculate 54 minus 2 plus 2 third of 2 then finally you get moment then wave pressure wave pressure is 2 gamma 2 times uh, 2 times uh, gamma w times wave height so, okay. so wave height already I think uh, computed first here. This is wave height. Then uh, you have to multiply. Then finally, it is downstream, horizontal to the downstream direction. Then this is movement. Then earthquake load. You have earthquake force. Earthquake force 0 0.555 alpha h gamma w z1 square. Then according to the formula, uh, which is this one. Then uh, this is horizontal, negative. Then moment arm from the base. Then this result will be correct. Then uh, you go to W1 AH alpha H times W1. So since seismic coefficient is uh, given, so you have to multiply. By seismic coefficient, each value you have to determine. Then uh, you go from the base. Since this is horizontal, then from the base you have this one. Moment negative again this one W3 AH the same W1 EV you will calculate again uh, W2 EV alpha V is half of uh, half of alpha H then you substitute the same so all seismic coefficients will be included since it is uh, just seismic deterioration is suspected to the dam according to this one zone uh, zone zone two so we take uh, the coefficient seismic coefficient for D taken 0.2 so finally you sum up all total sum for reservoir full condition you have to sum up all from uh, the top up to the bottom then you sum up again this one horizontal positive and negative vertical positive and negative you sum up you sum up etc then uh, moment again you sum up then total reservoir empty condition only self weight of the dam will be added if it is empty only self weight of the dam which is w1 w2 w3 will be added then finally you have the result then let us go to now calculation for reservoir full condition overturning stability summation of moment positive divided by moment negative so moment uh, negative and positive you have here then this is 1.26 which is unsafe it is less than 1.5 should be more and uh, sliding stability for alpha which is horizontal foundation for alpha zero this is uh, the given equation coefficient of friction summation of horizontal divided by vertical 
you have this one, it should not be more than 0 0.75. It should be less than 0 0.75. So unsafe. You have unsafe. Then shear friction factor, again, resistance to sliding over summation of horizontal. For horizontal foundation, since it is uh, flat or uh, just uh, it is level, the foundation or the base contact is level, so alpha is zero, this equation will be the resistance to sliding. Cohesion times area of the base plus summation of vertical force times tan T concrete. Then uh, you have this one, resistance against sliding, you substitute here, divide by summation of horizontal. So summation of horizontal should be net force from negative and positive. You have to deduct. Then finally, you just take result, which is less than again. It is unsafe. So unsafe for both conditions. Three conditions unsafe. So if it is unsafe, limit equilibrium factor again, we can uh, compute. So to make safe against shear, provide a small inclination angle small angle inclination angle, then uh, you have to go to resistance against sliding if uh, it is inclined, if uh, the foundation is somewhat inclined, like this. If you make incline to this direction, the dam may be safe against sliding and shear. So to make safe against shear, you have to make shear friction factor should be more than or equal to three. Then crisscross S is equal to 3 times CVYH. Then you will find this result. Here, you will find this result, summation of horizontal, already known. Net force from uh, negative and positive. Then you go to this direction. So until you get uh, S, this one, S, this one, S is this one, cohesion area of the base cos alpha 1 minus tan phi concrete friction angle tan alpha plus summation of vertical force net force tan of this one then finally you just arrive at this solution so you just substitute this one then until you get equal result then finally provide a small inclination angle alpha which is 8.31 in order to be safe against shear friction factor so you simply substitute the values here by iteration. You just go like this, five, you give five, and also six until you get 89. Okay, this is corrected by this one. So um, let me correct again. Yeah, until uh, you get uh, this result. This is cancelled, okay. So just uh, arrange with this one, with this value, with this value until you get this result equal by giving alpha by iteration, just 85. Then let me change, for example, 89 until you get 89. Let me make 27. Oh, 27 is more. Okay, 26, 27, 26.5, 89.137. So 26 point, 26.25. We substitute. Okay, 26.45. Eighty-eight. Okay, twenty-six point four nine. Eighty-nine one three seven twenty-six point five. We can take approximately one three seven one three seven twenty-six point. So provide a small inclination angle, small inclination angle around twenty-six degree. Around twenty-six point around 26.5 in order to be safe against shear friction. So you can check now stress. You can check for stress now. Stress analysis will be computed again. Check for stress analysis. Then first you have to determine centroid. Centroid is this one. This is the centroid. Then uh, summation of moment. 
without uplift, uplift divided by summation of vertical force. Let us compute first summation of moment without uplift force. You can see without uplift, except uplift, you add or with positive and negative, you have to add. Then summation of moment, you have to compute. Then finally, summation of vertical force again, except uplift force, all forces should be added here. All vertical forces will be added. Yeah, from the total force, you subtract uplift force only. So I think uh, we have subtracted uplift pressure. We have subtracted um, uplift pressure. Yeah, we have subtracted sum of uh, sum of F57 up to this one. You subtract, then you get this result, then you have to compute now centroid. Centroid will be this result. So centroid, summation of moment divided by summation of V. So centroid is this one. Then eccentricity will be this one. This is eccentricity, T over 2 minus X bar. So T is the base dimension of uh, the dam. So 0 0.5 times 54, half of uh, 54 minus X bar, this one. So downstream of the centroid, since this is positive, 8.67, then vertical normal stress will be this equation at upstream uh, of the dam, at upstream uh, hill of the dam, sigma z is given by sigma b over bottom dimension 1 minus 6 e over t for reservoir full condition. So uh, according to this one, we derive this equation from combining axial and bending load from this general equation, we just derive this equation, then we get 25, uh, 25, uh, 25.75 kilopascal, but uh, 1,200 is the uniaxial compressive strength, so it is CF. So stress is CF at downstream to you solve uh, using this equation, again, you get more than, so it is unsafe. So for downstream, uh, downstream phase, there is some for reservoir for condition, the resultant should pass through, uh, within the middle third. So this is unsafe, unsafe. Then horizontal normal stress on vertical uh, planes, you can calculate using this equation, but uh, you are not asked to compute, but uh, let us check this one. 9.81 times uh, 60, which is P, water pressure in the upstream phase, which is 60, plus sigma zero upstream, already computed above, minus this one, then tan of tan uh, pi square. So upstream, already slope is given, so you can uh, compute tan inverse, tan inverse of this one, 0 0.2 and 0 0.8. Again, okay, again, for this one, you compute. So these are safe. Horizontal. Horizontal normal stress on vertical planes. So this is the 3D dimensional axis. And principal stress and shear stress at the hill and at the hill and top of the dam. You have this equation for upstream full condition. Sigma zero upstream one plus tan square pi upstream minus PW tan square pi U. Then you have this one. Again, this is safe and uh, minor principle. This is major, this is minor, gamma W is 8, 1. This is, I think, less than safe and uh, major principle downstream, uh, major principle stress. You see, it is more than, more than unsafe. So, on downstream uh, phase, there is unsafe. So, downstream minor principle stress again, this is safe. So, you have unsafe or downstream, major principal stress and, uh, and also uh, stress, uh, which is sigma z d, then uh, you go to t 
tension check for tension whether there is tension crack or not you have to check if its interest is greater than t t over 6 the vertical stress at the upstream face of the dam will be negative that means tensile stress is developed so it can be proved that this interest is already calculated then uh, 54 over 6 9 the resultant is within the middle sir so you have calculated sigma z upstream sigma z downstream then uh, uplift pressure at the hill then effective you have to subtract so it is negative so there is tension in the upstream there is tension so this is vertical normal stress distribution and uh, pressure distribution uplift and effective pressure distribution which is this one so from similarity of triangles you can uh, compute the length of crack which is 19 it will come then finally effective base width of the dam you have to subtract uh, the crack length which is uh, i think uh, this one 54 point this one by similarity of triangles so you can uh, further check using this dimension so for reservoir MPT condition, uh, left as exercise for uh, all students, please try. Try this one. Consider only self-weight of the dam. Then uh, finally, you will use the uh, tabular uh, table. Then you can uh, calculate using this table. Provide table. Then finally, you can arrive at the solution. So phi upstream and phi downstream is this one, slope. So slope is already given, 0 0.2 versus uh, 1 for upstream. So phi u will be 0 0.2. This is this one. OK, thank you. If you have any comment or suggestion, you can forward. And thanks for watching this. OK, so this is all about uh, today's tutorial. Hopefully, you liked the video. If you have any comment or doubt regarding this topic, please let me know and write down in the comment section below. I will definitely reply on it.